I definitely see more guitar in music lately. There was a couple years ago where I thought the guitar was like kind of dying out. Not maybe dying out, but just like, you didn't really see it in the forefront anymore, you know? Like when I started producing, I would sit down every day, you know, for months and just try to make a beat a day or more. You know, my, my beats when I started out were terrible, you know, so it's good to be, you know, just practicing every single day and every day you're gonna get a little bit better. Before when I would be in bands and stuff, I'd typically lean towards more like rock guitars, you know, heavier pickups, a lot of distortions, so whatever would work for that. But uh, as I started making music by myself, I kind of gravitated myself towards wanting like a different kind of sound. So when I saw D'Angelico on the internet, I saw all these people playing them, I was like, damn, like, well, I've never heard of this company. Like, where did this company come from? And then I saw they're actually, you know, older, and I was like, how did I never hear about this? And they immediately caught my eye too, just because of the, just the look. You know, I, I constantly get compliments on this guitar of how beautiful it is. I really barely use any plugins for my guitar sound. Really the main thing that, or not even the main thing, but one of the things that, that adds to my music is I'll put, you know, just like some warp to give it that, uh, that more lo-fi kind of sound. I'm always improving. You know, as long as you're making music every day, then you're always gonna improve. You know, I, I think it's very hard to stay in the same space for a really long time. <laughs>